Hey guys, thanks for, for joining us for another video. Um, if you followed us on our previous options video, um, we bought some options and uh, a month later we're selling some options and we made profits on all of them except for TLT which is still active for about another month. So we're going to uh, use the profits from those options we sold and reinvest them. So uh, Danny, why don't you explain how we did and uh, what options we should get into um, you know, this upcoming week, sure. this upcoming month. Yeah, so uh, on UAL, uh, ended up being a full profit there. It never got below the $20 put price that we had bet it wouldn't go below. Uh, so that was a $130 profit uh, on that trade uh, on the risk of 670 So it was a very good uh, return percentage-wise. And then for IYR as well, it never went below 67 never even got close to it. And that was a full profit there of 58 bucks. So between the two, it's $188 uh, in profit uh, off of a risk of, uh, I think it was like, Fourteen hundred dollars, something like that. So that's pretty solid. Nice. Yeah, yeah. With TLT, uh, it still has uh, four weeks, almost three and a half weeks uh, to expiration. You really don't have to do anything; it's just set it and forget it. Um, it's at one sixty-two. As long as it's not below one fifty-six, it'll be a full profit trade, and I, I think it will uh, pan out well. Temporarily, it dipped below one fifty-six for two days, and ever since, it's gotten a way above that. I think it's at like one sixty-three right now. So it should yeah. be okay. I, I'm not concerned about it. All right, so what do we got for us uh, for this upcoming month? Okay. So this is the option chain for Nicola. Uh, I don't actually like the stock long term. I think it's uh, grossly overvalued. But in the short term, people are very pessimistic about it. And I don't think it's going to go down uh, in the short term. These what is Nicola, days. just in case people aren't aware? So Nicola is a uh, is the first name for the inventor Nikola Tesla. And they went with Nicola because they're trying to be like Tesla, basically. But instead of passenger vehicles, they're doing... Uh, well, passenger pickup trucks is what they're trying to get into, but heavy haulers. Uh, they're trying to do a hybrid uh, hydrogen fuel cell powered electric semi truck. They've never sold a single product. They have zero dollars in revenue and the company is worth almost $30 billion. Makes so perfect a, sense. Yeah, it's a terrible investment long term. I, wouldn't, I would not put a, a penny of, of your money into it, let alone mine. Um, <laughs> but uh, I got jokes. No, but, uh, but short term, there's a lot of pessimism and I don't think that is going to pan out uh, well for people that are paying through the nose for these put options. Okay. So well, that's good that for us. Mind, yeah. The bearing, that, bearing that in mind, the idea here is to buy the $20 put uh, because I don't think it'll go below that level. Um, but just in case it does, you bracket that, that will cost you 80 cents. So we'll set up the trade here. Quantity of one, not 10. Make sure you get that quantity checked if you're using TD Ameritrade. And then you'll want to afterwards sell the $25 put, and that'll generate, once I correct the quantity to one, a credit of 60 cents uh, at current market prices. You should be able to actually get this for 80 and get 150 for the other put. So it should be about a 70 cent credit there. Um, so you'll be essentially risking $430 to make $70 over the next 25 days. Okay. Yeah. And just a reminder, you have to buy the option first and then sell the other Correct. option to, Correct. to make you it to work. Buy the lower option first uh, and then sell the higher option because if you do it the other way around, it's going to require a lot more capital initially. Um, if, you, if you have the capital for it, it doesn't make a difference once you set up the full trade. But you always want to err on the, on the side of caution um, and buy the put prior to selling a put. Okay. Uh, if you weren't to buy that other put, for instance, the, uh, the $20 put first and Nicola goes to zero while you're trying to set this trade up, you could hypothetically lose $2,500. If the that would not be a good thing. No. Definitely. And that would not be good for us as a YouTube channel slash Discord. No, no, no right. that wouldn't work out. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> this trade actually, as it stands, should generate right around a 19% return over 25 days, which is excellent. Nice. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. And it's, it's, a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good risk. The stock is at $67 and it's been pretty steady above 60. So it's very unlikely it goes below 40, let alone 30 let alone 25, which is what mm -hmm. we're betting, that it won't go below 25. But if it does, we're out at 20, worst case, uh, for a max loss of the $430. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right, what so, else? Secondly, we've got VXX. Um, this is an ETF that tracks short-term volatility for the S&P 500. So when the market is more volatile and typically when the market's going down, this ETF will appreciate rapidly. Um, but in normal times, it tends to decay just because of the way the ETF structured. Not to get into too much detail in this video, um, but just each month that goes by, this ETF typically will lose 5 to 10% of its value. So it's a good long-term bet to bet that it won't sustain higher levels, which is what we're going to do. So for this trade, with VXX at 35, we're going to say that it isn't going to get above $45 from now through July 17th. 
excuse the order being out of order here. First, you would want to buy the $50 call to make sure you, you limit your losses. If it does soar for some reason, uh, you should be able to get that for about a buck 50. Make sure quantity is one on that. And then you'll want to go out and sell the $45 call, which is where you're essentially betting it will stay below $45. And you should be able to get about 205 or so for that. So assuming you get 205 and 150 for the other one, that's, that's a $55 gain, maximum uh, gain on that trade as a credit that you're creating there, and a maximum loss of the difference between $5 and, and 55 cents per share. So $455 max, uh, sorry, $445 max loss and a max gain of $55. So it ends up being, it's like 11%, I believe, 12.3% um, return for the same 25 days. So can't go wrong with that. Perfect. Love it. For most of us that are just trying to learn this, I think it's also good where you're not trying to put in so much money. You're just like mm -hmm. taking baby steps, let it, let it play out, watch how it works. And then, you know, hopefully we made some money for you guys. And uh, in 25 days, we'll, we'll reassess and, uh, trying to make some more money for you guys. Yeah, and, and by then we'll recap these two and TLT will have expired as well. So we'll recap Perfect. all three and uh, ideally our theoretical $2,000 account by then should be approaching a 20% gain uh, by the nice. time it's all said and done. Nice, perfect, okay. All right, Danny, I think uh, that was a well said video. You did a great job. Clear Keep up the concise. good work. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, let me say the thing where, you know, if you got this far in the video, just please make sure to uh, subscribe and, and like and all that stuff. Well, we will find you and we will cough on you. We will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Danny, see you next time, bud. All right, man. See you,